Now, ladies and gentlemen, Zack Ryder, man, he has an impressive career. He's also a tag team specialist himself, a multiple time tag champion. Uh, not only that, but he's uh, won the United States Championship in his career as well. Man, oh man. And not only that, but the Intercontinental Championship, and he's fought for the WWE Championship. And we're about to have another competitor already. I wonder who's going to be. A bunch of tag specialists here. Oh, would you look at that? Biggie better get in the ring if he wants to save his partner, Xavier Woods. I wouldn't really care, though, because I'm in it for my damn self. And Biggie, Big e, the former Intercontinental Champion, former uh, NXT Champion, and not only that, but uh, also a two-time tag champion. But the man he's about to eliminate, what the hell is going on here? This is a weird world. It's like tag team partners are, gonna, is, are trying to get rid of each other. It just doesn't make out. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I, I mean, I, I mean, I would have done the same thing that uh, Big E is doing, but at the end of the day, it's that's still your partner. You got to be wondering what the hell's going through the mind. All right, we're about to have another competitor coming in right now. Let's see who's it going to be. Oh man. It's Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler is a big competitor here in WWE. Man, he's uh, accomplished a lot uh, in his career. He's a former tag champion, former United States and Intercontinental champion, a former Money in the Bank winner. He's competed in World Rumble matches before, but however, he hasn't won. And he is a two time World Heavyweight Champion. Man, that dude right there is just absolutely amazing. He's one of the best superstars I've ever se seen step foot in that ring. And uh, only held the world championship only twice, but still though, I mean he's that he's won it two more times, and a lot of people can say they won it in the WWE. And man, oh man, it's just a bunch of a bunch of tag specialists in there, man. Tag, tag, tag specialists. However, I do got to say that Dolph Ziggler and Zack Ryder are a little bit more far apart from that uh, tag team specialist type duo, since they have been uh, singles competitors for the majority of the year. And wait a minute, oh, Jimmy Uso is eliminated here in the, in, in this Royal Rumble match. Man, Dolph Ziggler is already making an impact, and it, it, you know who's made an impact in my eyes? Who has the biggest? Who made the biggest impression? That man right there, he's Slater. I mean, he's he could be a big goofball, a big clown every now and then, actually majority of the time. But when it's when he's stepping his way rumble, he's made a huge impact. He's uh, proven that he could be uh, around the big guys. He can hang with the big dogs, and I gotta say that I really am impressed by this this uh, this man right here. Now, if I had to guess, you have Zack Ryder, you have Dolph Ziggler, and you have Big E. How many Intercontinental Championships does that combine for? What are we talking about? We're talking about at least one, two, and a plus. We're talking about at least five Intercontinental Championship runs combined. And you know what they say, man? You know you, you don't win the w you don't win a World Championship in the WWE. The Intercontinental Championship is the next big, a big thing. All right, number twelve, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be coming down that ramp any time now we just want to know who's number 12 oh, oh man it's a fan favorite Damien Mizdow man oh man I, I don't know what he's doing with the is he writing solo now or is he just uh, I don't know what he likes to be called because you know they say he's Mizdow but then he says he's a Sandow so I guess he just kind of embraced it Damien Sandow, former Money in the Bank winner, and the first competitor to unsuccessfully cash in his briefcase while losing the match via pinfall. The other, the person before him actually won his match, but uh, he also didn't bring in the briefcase or didn't bring home the championship. <clears throat> and Mizdow Sandow, looking to take care of Heath Slater, and that made a huge. Hit. Did he do it? Did he do it? <gasps> he did it. And that's how Sandow takes care of business already. Sandow take out the most impressive superstar in this matchup so uh, 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 so far that I've seen. And you know Sandow is just a very absolutely amazing competitor. Um, I think he deserves a couple of uh, title shots in his near future. Hell, if he wins this Royal Rumble, I think uh, he'll put on one hell of a show. I think he'll give the champion a run for his money. Oh, and look at that double neck breaker. From both uh, Sandow and Ziggler, giving on to Zack Ryder, and look at this. The new days, ha the new day has imploded. They are just absolutely destroying each other. When I don't know why they could be dominating this Royal Rumble, they could be teaming up, beating down one person after another, 
dumping over the top rope and making it the uh, final three, final two, however many is in the Royal Rumble. The, the final two uh, members be the New Day. Like, what in the world's going on here? It absolutely makes zero sense in my book. Number 13, I believe. Who's it going to be? Oh, oh, man. Social Outcast member, Curtis Axel. Former tag champion, former Intercontinental champion. Uh, he's a. Look at this. Like I said, this is a damn. Do you oh, hold on? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Zack Ryder, one foot out the door, and he's gone like that. Zack Ryder's dream of main eventing WrestleMania is over. Man, oh man. Damian Sandow only won the tag team championships once with his partner, The Miz, at the time. Oh, look out. But nonetheless, look at this. You have Dolph Ziggler, the probably him and Curtis Axel. No, actually, Dolph Ziggler is the only single competitor. You got uh, Curtis Axel representing the Social Outcast. You got the Big, uh, Big E representing the New Day. Uh, Sandow's by himself now, but he still appears in tag matches, and his only championship win was a tag team title. And you got Xavier Woods representing the New Day. Man. And look out, Biggie might be taking care of uh, Sando right away. Oh, watch out, I don't know. And you know what I gotta say? I say uh, Dolph Ziggler's probably the favorite to win this one right now. And uh, can you imagine if Chris Axel wins it? Wins the WWE Championship for his dad? His next competitor. Oh, man, it's about to get busy in that ring. We got Colin Cassidy coming in there, and he's ready to take some names. Oh, and look out, Big E. Already, he military pressed, slammed Colin Cassidy. Oh, and Xavier Woods is gone. He's out of here. One third of the New Day's out. Oh, and Colin Cassidy said, nope. Big, or excuse me, Big Cass. I got to call him Big Cass. And that's what the WWE Universe loves to prefer him as. You know, Big Cass is a, uh, the, him and Enzo were the biggest tag team and most famous tag team in NXT history in my pro amateur opinion and Cassidy looking to take care of Biggie and he does that's the second third of the New Day gone there's only one more competitor and if he comes in this room well I don't know how he's how he's gonna feel but then again Kofi's always found a way to uh, take care of business and stay in the matchup no matter how far he's been thrown outside that uh, top rope man oh man I'll tell you Kofi is one impressive amazing athlete individual Oh man, you know, I would say that, uh, yeah, look at this. Only one person in there is an actual singles competitor. But I don't have to worry, I wouldn't even worry about Colin Cassidy. That dude is a freak of nature. He can bulldoze his way to the world title main event match. Oh, watch out! Number 15, we have Chris Jericho coming in. Now we're talking about a true singles competitor. One of the best competitors I've ever seen in a, in a Royal Rumble. In, no, excuse me, not in a Royal Rumble, but in just WWE history. Oh, and, and Sandal's been eliminated. I, I was just overwhelmed by Chris Jericho coming in here. And look at that. Immediately eliminates uh, Curtis Axel. And Dolph Ziggler is looking to take care of uh, Colin Cassidy. Jericho and Ziggler have had their fair share of uh, matches over the years going up against each other one-on-one. -on -one. But uh, arguably... Oh, wait a minute. Jericho might be getting rid of Ziggler. One foot out the door and he's gone. Oh, and... Jericho went after Colin Cassidy immediately with no hesitation. Looking to take care of the big man. Oh, man. Number 16 is Bo Dallas. This is the second uh, This is the second participant of the first half of the Social Outcast here in the Royal Rumble. And he's trying to make everybody a believer here tonight. Now, Chris Jericho, I want to go back to him. Uh, he's a multiple-time, nine-time Intercontinental Champion. Five-time world champion, and he's held the tag team championships on numerous occasions, and the United States Championship as well. Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <gasps> Jericho, like that, is gone. Bo Dallas makes a huge statement, eliminating one of the biggest names in, in WWE history. And Bo Dallas, uh, one of the long, the third longest reigning NXT champion in, in WWE history. That title belonged to Neville, now the NXT prospect, the Savage. Oh, and look out. Oh, man, business is about to pick up. We got Bray Wyatt coming out here. Bray Wyatt is one scary and deranged individual, I have to say. 
Um, he's won the tag team championships here in WWE once. And that's pretty much it. He's uh he's been mainly focusing on helping his brothers out, uh, trying to win tag championship gold. And mainly his main uh goal here in WWE wasn't really to win championships in my eyes. He's been mainly trying to expose the big superstars the fans love. Like John Cena, he's been trying to expose him, saying that he's not a great guy as he says he is. And he kind of failed to do it. He tried the same thing with Undertaker and many more. But I think if Bray Wyatt focused as hard as he could, he could win a world title. Oh, next competitor, number 18. Oh, it's Ryback. Man, oh man, the former United States champion. This man right here is just absolutely... he He's a freaking... uh He's a human wrecking ball, as they say. You run into that man, you're going to fall flat on your back. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That could be it for Bo Dallas. If, oh, wait a minute, Colin Cassidy. I don't think he saw what happened. But he, he kind of saved Bo Dallas right there. Right back. Uh, he's competed for the WWE Championship on numerous occasions. However, he always came up short when he uh, fought the likes of a John Cena and a CM Punk. But here tonight, if he wins, he can have a, a, a match for uh, the WWE Championship. Hold on, we got number 19. Who's it going to be? Oh man, heavy fan favorite right here is Sami Zayn, former NXT champion coming up here in the reins and trying to get a shot at the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Now can you imagine if some of these guys win here tonight? Let's go like this, Sami Zayn, if he wins it, that'll be a huge opportunity for the man. And if he were to become WWE World Heavyweight Champion, that'll just be absolutely amazing. That young kid has a bright future ahead of him and I believe he can be one of the best in this business. Right back, you know, he's failed to. I think the experience of having the mo numerous title matches is going to help him a lot. Bo Dallas, um, I don't really know his ex experience in there. Bray Wyatt, neither about him either. But I think Bray would have a better chance than Bo. Colin Cassidy, I say he has a big chance. 20, who's it going to be? Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Randy Orton. The master of the RKO. That dude is just absolutely unpredictable. He can hit you from down near anywhere with that RKO and put this ma put any match away with just one hit of it. And it can be the beginning of the match. Or hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right back. Right back just eliminated Colin Cassidy. And that's a big win for right back in his book. He saw him cheering himself on. Man, oh man. And there goes a belly to belly to Sammy. Oh, wow. This were almost absolutely...